Hi, this is Jennifer Priest from Hydrangea Hippo here with the tip of the day at Scrapbook Expo. So today I'm going to share with you how to make resin paper. Resin paper is really cool. You can take any paper, like this tissue paper from Tim Holtz, and put ice resin on it to make it into a really cool, translucent, flexible, interesting material to work with. It's totally something we've never seen in scrapbooking before. So what you're going to start with is this product called ice resin. It comes in a two-part tube like this. It's like those epoxies you get at the hardware store. When you squeeze the plunger, equal amounts of each side of the material come out. Now, when you mix these together, this is a chemical process. So, you want to make sure you have equal parts. So we're just going to use the little plunger here and squeeze it into a paper cup. Again, it's going to do equal parts. So we don't have to measure because this plunger does it for you. Now I'm going to use my little popsicle stick here and stir this together to mix it until it's totally mixed together. You don't want to whip it. You don't want to have a lot of air bubbles. So if you whip it like whipped cream, it'll look like champagne and it will dry with those bubbles. That's not so important for resin paper, but for other uh, things you want to do with ice resin, it is important to not have bubbles. Once your resin is mixed, you're going to take a little sponge and you're going to use that to apply the resin to the paper. Now it's a good idea if you get your sponge wet a little bit, that helps with applying the resin. I'm just going to use my popsicle stick to put some resin onto the paper. And then I'm going to use my sponge to just spread it out across the paper. These are just old book pages from a, I think this is an old dictionary. You can use an old dictionary, a book that's falling apart. I wouldn't buy a new dictionary and cut it up. I would just use something falling apart. You can use the phone book, music paper, anything that's cool and vintagey. And what's going to happen with this is the resin is going to make it translucent. Now, after you've coated your whole piece of paper with the resin, you're going to let it set for about an hour. The more resin you use on it, the longer you're going to need it to set. And that's so that the resin can cure. Again, this is a chemical process. So I'm going to set that aside and show you how you can use this on your scrapbook page. So here I have a fun little scrapbook page. And this is actually my husband and Liz Hicks' husband at CHA doing a little challenge together. What I'm going to do is take my resin paper to create some cool accents and use this little punch from Fiskars to punch out stars out of the resin paper. Now, because this is translucent, your adhesive is going to show on the back. So I'm going to use this Xyron X sticker maker tool to make these into stickers so that my adhesive is fully across the back of each star. And I don't have to worry about a glue dot or a or white foam dot showing in the background. So I'm going to peel that off and rub. And now I'm going to take my ice resin, little resin paper stickers and add those as accents to my page. So it adds a whole nother level of depth and character to your layouts. Thanks so much for watching this tip of the day with Scrapbook Expo. And I hope that you'll try resin paper on one of your projects soon.